early morning at a flat in central Bristol. A suspected drug dealer, woken not by a knock at the door, but police breaking through his door. It wasn't the alarm call he was expecting. It's 7.15 in the morning and the police use what they call a door breaker. It's a new piece of equipment, but it helps them to break through the door more easily. Of course, the suspected drug dealer inside had a bit of surprise. And when the door was broken in, you could smell a really strong smell of cannabis coming out of the flat. Months of work has been done leading up to today's raids. There's lots of work that's taken place prior to today. It's many months of hard work, intelligence gathering, working with local communities to try and identify those causing the most harm to our local communities. The role of their local imam in the debate sparked discussion and some sympathy. Obviously, when it comes to issues like that, we're interested because we're helping the whole community, whether what race, culture, that makes no difference at all. As a community, we'll definitely be supporting him. I think he's a, he's a brilliant guy and um, we, we're going to make sure he gets all the support he needs and I don't, if he's done anything wrong, then I'm sure he'll own up to it. At his school, there was no sign of Abdullah Patel today. He remains suspended while an investigation is carried out. Paul Bartrop, BBC Points West. What difference would it make for the children? One could go to university without having any debt whatsoever, which is what Becky and Adrian would have wanted for their children. And lawyers believe they could have a case. It treats children of families where two parents have died in an accident differently to children where only one parent has died in an accident. When you do your A-levels, when you um, graduate from university, but I said there are lots and lots of people that love you and will be there for you. St Paul's Carnival couldn't have hoped for better weather and the streets were packed as the procession set off, led by a Bristol bus. This year's celebrations were in honour of the Windrush generation and those that took part in the Bristol bus boycott. So how does Bristol's Carnival compare to London's bigger Notting Hill Carnival? It feels more comfortable, more friendly, more like a community. Organisers described the event as a success and thanked the local community for their support. This morning, as the streets were cleaned, some residents had some points to make. There wasn't enough bin and there wasn't enough toilet for the people them that come here. But it was all right. There was nobody fighting and giving yeah, no trouble. Yeah, the festival was really great. Yes. 